Mm. Zayas. Ayo. So look, we were talking, man. Yes. I, I'm going to cut to the chase. Yes. Tell me your relationship with Samora Michelle. Now, where are you from? Go ahead. Hit it. Man. All right. Um, I'm from Shoko Town. Uh, Shoko Town is in the Shoko District. Of? Oh, it's in Gaza Province. In of? Mozambique. Thank you. It's in southern, southern Mozambique. Mm. Uh, Gaza Province makes border with uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, and South Africa. In uh, South African provinces that makes border with, with Gaza province is Mpumalanga and Lipombo. Mm -hmm. um, Lipombo province in this side because you know about Lipombo province in South Africa. So me, I'm from Lipombo district in the other side of the border. Mm -hmm. So, the relation with Samora Mashed, just 45 kilometers away from my hometown. Uh, my dad was born in 1918, Samora is born in 1933. So my dad has been entertaining when Samora was still a young man. So he left my dad. And then my dad was also singing politics, because he had the songs that were singing politics. So when we got independence in 1975, he called those, that, those groups that were performing mm -hmm. when he was growing up. Mm -hmm. And then my dad went to perform. Mm -hmm. And then Mia was in other group. Singing while standing, but also I was in other group of Estatamia. We were a bigger group and a younger group. Mm -hmm. So it's where I got to see Samora Machel in his home after having seen him in my hometown when he came to do make a meeting. Mm -hmm. That's the call it the call it um go commiss you when you Call lots of people and he stand there and talk and talk. It was his first time there, and then as he was talking, and then he, he asked it, anyone who has anything to say, and my dad said, I have got something to say. And his cousin said, Hey, Samoro, hey, hey, Jaime. My dad was called Jaime. Jaime his name is Jaime mm -hmm. His stage name is Inkunze Mnyama, that's Black Bull. Mm -hmm. And then his cousin said, No, you're gonna be in trouble with Samora. He said, No, 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 I got to talk. So Samora said, What's happening? And then said, We want a land for agriculture. Mm -hmm. And then the road, the road everything down. Mm -hmm. And then when that meeting it was over, I went to Maputo. Two weeks later, they called my dad with his friends. Mm -hmm. So I was running to Maputo for a meeting uh, till they agreed on that. Mm -hmm. They will be giving uh, a couple, mm -hmm. uh, one hectare each person. Mm -hmm. The husband mm -hmm. is given a hectare, the wife given a hectare. So my dad had two wives, so uh, we are from polygamy family. So they were both given one, one hectare. You know, and the big brothers also, those were uh, the wives. Mm. And then and then that system ended up stretching into the whole country. Mm. Mm. And it came from my dad. Mm. I'm not trying to put my dad away, away. No. It, it was when we got independence in 1975, Frilum took the land. Mm. It belongs to government. It belongs to people. Poor Mozambique is a republic government. Mm. But then my dad came with that. We went to our land because my hometown shop, even the center, the name, Part of the of town is where we used to be, but they removed my parents and they built town. So the land that Portuguese uh, were using for agriculture, it was my family land, yeah, not only my dad, land. yeah, my sister land. So when my dad said we want our land back, Samora then, he, when he wrote it down, he didn't give the whole land back. Mm. He then just yeah, gave part of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the rest, it was used by government. He opened cooperatives and had the calling press, Estatal, like everyone working there. Mm. It's a governmental thing, but it's run by people. Mm. And uh, people who didn't have jobs, have got jobs by the time. Those who are working on the farms that were oppressing them, now they are running by government and then also exporting that food and also paying right, Russia and China, where we got ammunition was from, really we got ammunition from those countries to fight against Portuguese. Mm. Uh, yeah, so when he, he we, I think he went about three times to perform in his home. And then in that night I still- When you say perform and sing, your, your, father, your, your father or you? My father and that other group of my uncle, okay, okay. Uh, my father's cousin, who also cut his indicator finger, mm. uh, uh, boycotting to go to army. You know, the Portuguese also they were taking uh, 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 black people to go to I mean, to fight their own black people. Mm. But we also had the black people that were against, willingly fighting against their own black people. Mm. The, 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 what we were saying is that in your side, the color thing doesn't, doesn't work 
we can't say white people are like this, black people are like this, or white people are bad, mm. because we've got black people who are also against black people. I've seen that, even the young as I am, I've seen that. Mm. You know, because Renamu, it was black on black. Mm. You know, so this uncle of mine I'm talking about, he didn't want to go to army to fight against Freelim because he was a Freelim supporter. So he asked other uncle of mine, yeah, his younger brother, he gave him a car, pang, I don't know what to call it, pang. And yeah, he, pang yeah. yeah, and he said, and he put his, his right hand uh, indicator finger on the top of the line. And he, he said, smashed he it. He said, cut it. Oh, he cut it with pang. Yeah, yeah, he cut it. And then his young brother, he refused, but that uncle was a boxer. He said, I will box you, big time. So he took it and cut it. And then he never went to I army. Mean, so when Frilim took over, he then he started a group. I was the youngest in that group. He used to sing. And then he would be using even that finger to point up, saying things to, you know, to those things that are done by black and white oppressors. Well, let me ask you something. You, 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 you sell these t-shirts with all kinds of, of people. I see uh, here, here you have, uh, uh, what is this, Thomason? No, the, no, the, no, no, this is Mengelis Rappos Buke and his wife is here. Yeah, yeah. that's his wife so there. No, Patrice Lumumba, Patrice yeah. Lumumba, Chris Hani. Chris Hani. You got Madiba over Madiba there. there. My point is, you have a lot of, oh yeah, you know. Well, don't Madiba, Madiba for the questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of yeah, well, right. yeah, well, it's all right, no. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but you know, I, I myself got a Thomas and Carter. Yes. I was looking for Chris Hani, but, you know, but, I, I, you know, I, these, are, these are my heroes, too. People don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. I may be American, but I'm like a, a different kind of American. Mm -hmm. But my question to you, if your, fa your father did what he did, mm -hmm. Pioneer also, your uncle did what he did, where 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 are they? Where where are the garments with them? These are these are celebrity uh 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 I say celebrity revolutionaries. Yes. Your father was revolutionary in his own right. Your uncle's a revolutionary. Come on now, I want I need I need I you know even if you don't sell it, you need to have a couple right there. The people say, well, who's that? And then you can give them even the to story. Myself, yeah. yeah. In fact, you can write a little little note, and people, oh, you want to know who this is? Hey, you buy the shirt. Take here's the card. Boop 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 boop. I'm just saying that, that you know nobody. I'm an old man. People don't be listening to me, so I don't expect anybody Look, to. I, I, I'm good. I'm a good listener. You know, <laughs> good listener you know? Yeah, and, and I'm open to learn because I got to learn. Yes. Well, so you gave us a little bit of history of of of, of uh, the revolution, if you will. Mm. And 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 then 1975. Then when we got independence, and then Samora Marshall, he sent uh, his older brother, just mm. fat. And he, speak, he spoke to other uncle, saying that he want a uh, youth to go to school. Mm -hmm. So my older brother, uh, the oldest brother, which is dead born at home, but was oldest on, on us men. Uh, and my other uncle, we was we were studying in a school of agriculture in my hometown. Mm -hmm. My older brother was um, uh, learning panel bit and painting cars. Mm -hmm. So my dad spoke to my dad, and my dad he said, "Hey, here's the kids, you know." But deep in, I think my daddy knew that we were going to army. I don't know. I'm just I'm thinking, Jay. Because as we got independence, we could not think that they're going to fight. Because we were already independent. But Samora knew that he's in a position or in a front line of fighting to liberate the rest of African yeah. countries who are not independent. That was uh, Zimbabwe, Namibia, and South Africa. Mm -hmm. So they went. Six months later, we received letters and, and, and photos. They had AK 47s and wearing army uniform and like what's happening here. Yeah, I thought we thought we were, they went to school in Russia. Mm. They came from Aput, which is 230 kilometers far from our hometown. Mm. They passed our hometown. They went towards Zimbabwe. My mm. is Kuala Kuala Pafuri. Mm. He, my brother only came back home in 1979, wearing uniform and he has his. Do you know how they wear those? Um, they call it subdu in Portuguese. Those bags and stuff. The man was really into Samora politics that when he came, we knew, we knew then that there was bombing because some, some injured people, civilians and such, were coming to Shoko town in the hospital. Mm. And then we said to him, hey, what if you go to South Africa because this war is killing lots of people? My brother said, no, 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 I'm not doing anything like that. Ian Smith came for, to attack my hometown the first time. The airplane came to bomb in my hometown. Mm. I was at school that day. Uh, my first year primary school, in, in high school, of course. I went to school a bit late, so 
I was nine when I went to school and I failed two times in, in primary school. So I was in high school when I was, I was 15, my first year in high school. They say those my my bigger brothers who were at home working with him while he was building his house. They don't know how did he jump from up there suddenly. He left them up there, he came down and then he took his gun and went to hide themself, himself in a bush. And then I remember other day talking here that Ian Smith he came in his squalor quality, he attacked people. He was like, hey man, damn shit, sort of my language. Uh, Smith what the lela. Like, hey man, he, Smith doesn't have a respect. Mm. He wanted to go and fight. Well, as family, we're trying to convince him to leave the army and come to South Africa. Him, he wanted to go fight. I said, these guys, they, they don't have respect. So, sometimes I say, I tell people that I'm a civilian soldier because I was trained by my older brother. Mm, he used to tell okay. me how hard it was on the training. And he used to tell me how it goes at war. You know, mm. some, like now, today I only eat a bit of peanuts. You know, there's water here, mm. you know. Yeah, uh, and then where's because I don't even know where's buried. He lost his life in 1982. Oh. My uncle he died just before independence of Zimbabwe, which is not even independence actually. That it was a deal that I signed because independence, you you, you take the land, you control yeah, the economy. Yeah, yeah. Mugabe didn't do that. And then I'm I'm and saying it is South Africa. It's really it's an arm, it's an armistice. You know what I mean? The, the, the English still got the banking. The Boers still got the land, whatever. Okay. And then us in Mozambique, we died in numbers, like really in numbers. I'll send you some pictures in, uh, through WhatsApp. You see them? Mass graves that my brother told me about. Uh, for independence of Zim. When they got it, what, what they did? So, but we now it's down. Mugabe is multi, maybe multi, bil multi billionaire. But well, some he's, going said, he's gone now. He's, but yeah, but the thing is, his about, kids, oh, yeah. they said the oh, money that our father oh, yeah. left. We, we, if we don't want to work, we live until we die without working. Yeah. With the money that he left, and then 2015, I was in the home of Samora Machel, and found that the many, the house that he built in 90, I'll say late 1975 or early 1976, in Portuguese they call it prefabricado, which is prefabricated. Mm. They just do foundation with concrete. And then some pillow standing, and then the slide some hard. Um, I think it's it's it's, it's, it's a fiber thing, mm -hmm. and then a thick like that. That build that, mm -hmm. but he knew that Mozambique has got minerals. He knew that Mozambique, the ports, it's money coming in because Zimbabwe, Namibia, Malawi, even mm -hmm. South Africa, it's a lot of stuff that most especially Zimbabwe, and Zambia, and Malawi, yeah. they export and import through Mozambique and Beira. It's mm -hmm. money. Right, South Africa also has a number of things going yeah. through Maputo. It's money. The yeah. sea, seafood, yeah. is money. Agriculture is money. Yeah. Hydroelectricity in Kaora buses, Kaora buses money. Samora Machelo could have said, "Hey, we got independence. I sit. If it was like them, I yeah. sit. I eat." But no, he didn't do that. He still sacrificed Mozambique and the little resources that we had yeah. to liberate these countries. And then Ian Smith with his friend that that started Renamo. Oh yeah. And then South Africa joined them. And then 1977-78, I started hearing that there is people who goes around uh, small villages and small uh, towns, cut people's lips, and then mm. say, go smile to your government. They cut people's ears. And they said that you can listen to your government quite well. Mm. Uh, find pregnant women, they'll open the tummy to see the baby inside. Well, if it's a boy, they're going to kill it. If it's a girl, she's going to leave? I don't mm. think so. Oh man, it's too many horrors here. Yeah. Uh, find a husband and a wife that's sitting with a baby to take the baby and put that um, is a is a hood thing that we make to pound millies. Uh, I say stop, stop. And then they'll put the uh, baby and said, "You husband and wife, stand your baby." You know what I feel like now? Mm. I'm gonna tell you what's happening right now. Mm. They they had this reconciliation commission in South Africa. You know, Bishop Crap. Tutu and them running around. Crap. And 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 they stopped it. I think they stopped it because exactly what I'm feeling that they couldn't take yeah, what, what they were hearing. Yeah. That's why they stopped it. Mm. And so when they talk about reconciliation all come all over the world, all this works, this work, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, um, and when that happened, then find that my brother, my big brother, was then he was a commander then when he got killed. But he was a good soldier, the bush. We used to hear from him, he had fellow soldiers, even before he came to visit home. We used to have films plus the hey, is 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 a is a crazy soldier in the bush. He had a lot of courage. He could risk do things that other soldiers could not do. Mm. Would not be, I guess you. You know, so he was my hero. Mm. 
and then to hear that he, he got killed in 1982 and then my mind got lost and then i'm and then i start questioning are this renamu the call matanga is are white people because my thing that time although i know that we had the black people were enemies but i wasn't expecting to be fully black cutting people's lips i said they're black from where from mozambique i'm like something is not right with us human beings mm. yeah that time i didn't i didn't go through colors by the time I was growing up i was hearing bad things about white people that took our land and then we escaped because i i had that one beat up my mom because we were drinking water in a canal little canal that takes water from big canal and then supplies water on a, on a, on a agricultural, agricultural field and then we got also small things made out of concrete so she was drinking water even myself i used to drink that and then this 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 this, this um the college cologne farmer she said my mom she could not she could not drink water there so she beat up my mom so me i grew up with that aim although my dad had a good friend white man and then i i've seen some white people that we were good but i had think that the ones that are bad i hated them yeah. yeah, I did. You know, so 1975, we got independence, and then we celebrated. And then suddenly, 77, I'm hearing about this Renamo. And then Smith is coming. He bombed first time 1979. He came also same same 79. He came 1980. But that time it was already towards independence. So it was last last kick of the dying horse. But Gaza province, which is nearby, the the the, the part of Gaza province which is nearby the border mm -hmm. they are killed millions of of of, of, mm -hmm. of from zimbabwe who are there also uh, um, as 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 the freedom fighters who went to the other side they were bombed and and then 1980 stopped the the freedom of zimbabwe got so-called independence but the right now we kept on up to 1992 when mandela came out 1990 and then, of course, the sun, which well, didn't come out in 1980, anyway, Mandela was out even 1986 when Samora got um, uh, um, assassinated, Mandela was out. And then I, I would say it straight the ANC had hand on the assassination of Samora Masha. Yeah, we, we won't get into we, we, but, uh, the whole Chris Hani thing. Yeah, <laughs> you but, know, so, you know, um, and, and then, and then, um, and then. 82 when i had my brother died was killed and I, up to today i don't know where he's buried uh, which it hurts me because if i could get his his bones and bring them home uh so i came to south africa because of that i never wanted to come to south africa i was working in 1982 i worked in the department of electricity and come in, in, in water in my hometown uh yeah but, but i was working in an office i wanted to work on electrician but because i didn't go to school so my sister got me a job there uh, uh, on the office. Uh, not office, like when is a problem in town? Someone drop a jacket. I hope yeah, this person doesn't see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Man. So, 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 so yeah, then. Look, 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 can I say something here? Yes. First of all, I'm going to repeat what mm. I said before. Mm. You have so many notables. I use that English word, notables in your family. Mm. At least you need to get a t-shirt with all of them in one in the frame, one. like that. See, I'd buy that t-shirt, but that's one thing. But you said something very interesting. And I, I see, a lot of times they, they call me Brother Sloan around. Mm. Mm. They, a lot of people think it's cool for the American, you know, like America say brother this and brother that, or, or you know, what do you call those, uh, 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 a labor union say brother this and brother that. Mm. But I use the brother, Brother, mm. not as a title of some revolutionary or something like that. No. It's a title because I believe it's a teaching title. Yes. When I teach, mm. especially when I teach, I started really when I teach, yes. I, they call me brother. Of course, my fraternity brother, brother, but that's not what I'm saying. Mm. So I teach and I say brother as a teaching thing. Why do I do that? Mm. Because you learn more from your sibling mm. than you learn from your parents. Or you listen to your sibling, mm -hmm. more you listen to your parents, your preachers, whatever it is, yes. your re revolutionary leaders. Yes. So in your situation, I can see, I can feel that. It's mm -hmm. like it's, I, I don't know. Look, I don't know why I'm babbling because I just gotta. I, I guess I'm de I'm decompressing from all that you said. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, so what's happening now? I mean, here you are. You 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 you're in another country. You mm -hmm. speak what? How many languages do you speak? Five, mm -hmm. six. Five, six, around there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's called, yeah, yeah, I speak his, I speak his calls as a Sisu too. Yeah. So once you can speak his calls, you can speak his Sisu. Yeah, that's right. And it's what, and it's in the valley. Oh, there's some differences there. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then English, I started learning English in 1989 when I moved to Jovic City. Uh, we are learned from the street. 
Yeah. yeah. And then I speak Susutu also, which if you speak Susutu, you can, you can communicate with someone who speaks Pedi or Sotswana. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to leave it here, but i got to say one thing. Look, but you're not married. You don't have a legacy to leave. Why is that? You can, you can go, you're, you're, you speak Portuguese, man, take your behind to Brazil or at least to Angola and find yourself a woman that has some traditional revolutionary or I would say evolutionary values yes. and make some children, man. Don't be wasting. That's always, yeah, that's always no, 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 you're not wishing. Mom, you got to do, do, do. Yeah, or you got, got to do, 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 do. do. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. My mom passed away 2018, 31st of January. She's been always asking me, my son. When are you giving a grandkid? All of your siblings that have got kids and they have kids that have got kids. My mm. mom, she, she got, she hold, mm. she did hold her grand grandkids mm. from my siblings, but me not even one. Well, at least so, you and, and, and then this, when she passed away, um, 2018, four days after her funeral, uh, the family got a meeting and then they didn't even call me. That did alone my older sister and my older brother who passed away also 2020. Um, they called a meeting and said, Hey, because that house we built, we put some money together, but me, I contributed less because I was still busy building my house, which is still stuck by the windows anyway since 2011. And it disturbs me. And then, but my brother, late brother who died, who passed away 2020, he contributed more. And my other sister who stayed at home because I got cash. Uh, my daddy, my, my brother was in architecture. And Mozambique was getting three thousand dollars, which he was even complaining before. That I was complaining that this money is little, but three thousand dollars in Mozambique, even in South Africa, three thousand American dollars. When you change that money, even South Africa got life. I mean that that money is about. I mean, I mean, I think by that time it was even more than ten times mm. uh, South African rand. If you go to one dollar, you could get ten rand, mm. if I'm not wrong. So, so he had, then he's the one who contributed more to build our mother's house. But then four days after funeral, they asked me whether I could accept to move into our, my mother's house because mm. I'm the last one left. And then I accepted. And then I had to sleep in her bed, in her bedroom and her bed. I cried mm. like a baby, you know. And then, mm. but then I told my, I went to my knees, I prayed there and I said, my mom, I will stick here and I'll get a wife and I'll make my first kid and second kid and on and on in this, in this room, in this bed. But now it's only my trust left. Mm. Um, I wanted to have kids. I love kids. I'm from polygamy family. I love big family. Uh, like now, people that say kids, I said, if, but it will happen. Mix my minimum I want to have four kids, two mm. girls and two boys. People are like it's so expensive to have kids. And what I love families. I'm from big family, and after all, I've got land at home. Mm. I don't have to buy everything I eat because mm. we will grow up growing our own food. Clothes. I make my own clothes. Mm. I make shoes. I make this and. Then, I mean, I got to leave this. I, how do I put it? If I had a kids like my dad, as now we all, I'm the one left. I'm the one left to take care of family land. Yeah. So who's gonna take care of this legacy that I'm building up? Because soon I wanna have my studio, studio at home, the house that I'm talking about. That has to be finished, and then I will be making clothes there and shoes there, and teach people to do things that I I I I, I know how to do. And then also try to get them to be conscious about things. You know, they got to also know what to eat, what to drink, because these yeah. days it's a lot of stuff that is poison. Yeah. And then yeah, you tell me how Bill Gates is poison the, yeah. the cashews, yeah. and, and then, oh man, it's See. terrible. Hey, look, man, thanks for taking some time here for the ISS uh, to uh, give us part of your story. And I'll be in touch. We got to do this again. We got to get some more of your wisdom. Hopefully, hopefully next time. I'll tell you that day I've got a girl who's pregnant. Because really, I need a kid. I want to have kids. Okay. More than one. I, I wish God bless and young sisters bless me and have a set of twins just from the beginning. Girl and a boy. And then two years later, I had a girl and a boy. And then I'll be happy.